Hi and welcome to the next episode on how to make 2D Metroidvania game from scratch. At first, I want to apologize for releasing this episode with a long delay. The isolation did not allow me to create the video on time. But this doesn't mean that work on the project has completely stopped. It's time to do the level design which is the most difficult part of the game development. Thankfully Unity has built in tile map editor that helps turn level development into fun part. You just take a brush, choose the pattern and just draw what you think works best. In early days of video games, a single programmer would create the maps and layouts for a game. And a discipline or profession dedicated solely to level design did not exist. In large studios, a whole team of designers is involved in level design. Level designers will usually work on a level from pre-production to completion, working with both incomplete and complete versions of the game. But, since I am an army of one person, I have to do everything myself, from beginning to end. Therefore, everything that you are currently observing on the screen is not a finished level. It is just one of the many iterations that changes many times. But let's look at our progress. At this point I added some obstacles in the form of very dangerous spikes. Don't touch it or you will be punished. Another innovation that I made during the quarantine period, is the transitions between levels. And thanks to this, now I can build more complex levels with secrets and hidden rooms. You can also always return to the previous room, for example, to look for an alternative way. In this room you can see one-way platforms and chest with useful items or keys to some locked doors. In our case we can't deal with enemy blob without primary weapon. Lucky for us, we can obtain whip from this chest. And now that we have our main weapon, we can move further. And as you can see, now the enemies appear where they were not there before. For now, these are just ordinary enemies that patrol from side to side, but later I will introduce to you more dangerous enemies with more complex behavior. Also, if you noticed that when you take damage, the game screen temporarily fills in red. Character health also reduced. And that's all for today's video. If you like what I do, don't hesitate to hit like and subscribe button. And any comment also will be appreciated. Thank to all of you for watching. Stay home and take care for yourself and your family. See y'all in the next episode.